In five days, 1.17 will finally be released. And I'm kind of excited for this one, so I decided to play around with the pre-release a little bit. I kind of wanted to experiment with the concept of making secret entrances for redstoners, builders, and even in the natural landscape. So here's my take on the new blocks and how you can kind of mess around in 1.17. So let's start out with the natural landscape here. So as you can see, I kind of tried to make a little bit of a custom landscape with the drip leaves kind of like hidden in the ground. We have the, the moss carpet all around the place and we have some uh, like decoration in the pond here. And you can already kind of see where I'm going. So if we go in F1 here, you can kind of kind of peek through here and see how I tried to do it. But uh, basically, it's possible to hide this even better. You could use vines down here instead of the, uh, the, uh, I think it's twisting vines, right? So, uh, let me show you and then you can kind of look at it. So the idea is that you have, uh, an observer kind of looking into the drip leaf and as soon as it goes down, it sends a signal out and it kind of reactivates it. So drip leaves, they kind of close themselves if you, Send them a redstone signal like immediately after they close down. Okay, so I just jumped into creative to show you the redstone. And uh, I'm no redstone magician. So if you have a better method, please let me know in the comments and I'll pin it. So everyone can see. But um, right now you can kind of see what I tried to do. So the way this works is that it instantly activates as soon as you like fall down into the hole. And that way you kind of get stuck beneath it. And uh, the way it works is that the observer kind of looks over here. Uh, it sends a signal into this block. And then we have a delayed repeater. That's pretty important. Because apparently the signal from the block here or the observer is pretty uh, pretty low. So sometimes it, it just kind of needs uh, a little bit of a delay. And uh, basically it sends it into this redstone torch. The uh, redstone torch is deactivating this redstone torch and then another repeater is sending it into the block over here. So you can kind of see how fast it is there. <laughs> the only bad thing is that obviously you'll have to cover some stuff up with the uh, moss carpet. But I, I mean, if you do it all around the place, I don't think it will make that big a mess. And, you know, I think it... Uh, it's a decent way to do it. Let me let me just show you how it works if you don't have anything below it. So you kind of have to stand here and it takes an awful lot of time. <laughs> but eventually you'll you'll get stuck down here and uh you know it, it works. It works regardless. So if you're not really into redstone, if you don't want to do that, if you just want to do something simple, I completely get that and uh you know, this was just a way to kind of show you if you wanted to. Alright, <laughs> on to my favorite one, which is actually utilizing the powdered snow. And uh, you can kind of see, I tried to make like a little mountain house here, but obviously I'm, I'm working with limited space here. So it's, it's just kind of how it is. Uh, if we take a look around here, there's no door to the house. And that's because there's a secret entrance. And... Um, I don't know, just take a look, see if you found it already. So obviously powdered snow has a little bit of a different texture. And uh, it's hard to see when you're just walking by, but it, it's right over here. So you can see how it's changed. And I even made like a, a little fake one right here. So the idea is that you just kind of walk in and you fall down. <laughs> and I'm using the twisted vines again. And that's basically just to... To get out again, you can just do that and then jump over here and you're out. So no big issues, just kind of do your thing. And I don't know, in the mountain biomes, people might just walk around with leather boots, right? To avoid falling down and uh, kind of just have to, to take them off, right? And then jump in here, but <laughs> it's just how it is. There you go. There's a trapdoor. We have a little bit of a setup here. We have the bed. We have a chest here. You can put some of this stuff in that I don't need anymore. And, uh, you know, back out again. Really, really cool way to kind of have like a secret entrance. And I mean, it depends how you play. You could also just hide it in a cave underneath and 
you know, have this as like a uh, people look through and see that maybe there's nothing in there, so they just kind of ignore it. And then you you jump down here, you have your chest here instead. I think that could uh, could definitely work as well. So it's kind of up to what you want to do, right? But I'm definitely gonna utilize a lot of these things, even for traps. I think it's just amazing. So uh, yeah, let's go on to the final one. Okay, so this is not as aesthetically pleasing as I want it to be, but just for the sake of explaining it, I kind of wanted to show the redstone, and obviously you don't even need to do it this way. You could do it on a, a flat surface, so the pistons would face like this way instead, and you just pull one block out and jump in. Um, you can kind of do whatever, right? So the idea is that you use the axe. You could use any axe, by the way. It doesn't matter. And uh, basically, you're going to find some copper and make sure it's not waxed when you place it down because that's going to be make you unable to kind of like uh, clean it. So what you can do is let the copper weather a little bit and then you just kind of click it and the door will open and you can walk through. So as you can see here, I kind of made like a little bit of a pulse extender and you can obviously delay it even more if you want to. I, uh, it doesn't really matter, just as long as you, uh, you can make it through, right? And then you could do it, as I mentioned, like on the side and just have like a block. You just jump in and uh, there you go. <laughs> That's about it. I think a lot of houses might use the copper for their roof. And that could be like a, a good way to kind of get in from the rooftop. If you're just kind of flying on top, just clean the copper and then just jump in. and. Uh, you know, it does kind of limit you in a way to to enter, but I don't think it's a big deal. It depends if you have, like, this is the only way in. You'd have to, like, wait a little bit, but it's fine. It's fine. I think uh, you can make it work in a lot of scenarios, and it might even add some excitement if you just have to wait. Anyways, it's a very short video, but I, <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm just trying to get back into the groove, and... Uh, you know, I'm kind of enjoying it. It's, uh, it's really fun. Thank you so much for watching.